Hello and welcome to English Tom. My name is Pri and I'm from South Africa and I will be your teacher for this lesson. If you can hear me clearly, can you please raise your hand? All right, great. You all can hear me very clearly. I wish to apologize for any background noise that you hear. There are many loud teachers here at English Town. So, if at any time you cannot hear me clearly and would like me to speak a little louder, can you please type a message to me in the chat bar and tell me the teachers are speaking very loudly and they are disturbing me. <laughs> Okay, and I will try my best to speak a little louder just so that you can hear me the clearest. Okay, so let's hope we have a really good lesson together, everybody. Now, before we look at today's topic, who would like to tell the class and I the country you are from and if you like a little about your job? Raise your hand. Yes, Sahaj, go ahead. All right, well, I hope that you're able to improve your English with me today, Sahaj, and that we have a very good lesson together. Would anyone else like to share a little with the class and I? Just maybe tell us the country you are from. Raise your hand. Yes, Mary, thank you so much. Go ahead. Yes, hello everyone, my name is Mary, I'm from China. And uh, I am still a student. And thank you very much. It's glad to meet you all here. All right, fantastic. And it's nice to meet you too, Mary. And I hope that you'll have a great class with me. Okay, I'd just like to remind you in advance, okay? After the lesson is done, I would like you to please fill in the after class survey for me. All right? So at the moment, I'm hoping that you've minimized it, you've kept it aside to fill in after the lesson. I must emphasize that it, it is very, very important that you fill this in for me. Okay? Alright, now let's look at today's lesson. It's actually quite an exciting lesson. Giving compliments. Compliments, that is something really, really good. So, for example, when you tell me that I am an excellent teacher, that is a compliment. <laughs> and that makes me very happy, all right? It's a very positive thing to say. So, a compliment, when you say something good about someone. As you can see, this is an elementary class, so it is tailor-made for your level. So, let's look at our first slide together. Something pretty simple. What do you wear to work? Alright, if you're a student, what do you wear to university? Raise your hand if you'd like to answer. What do you wear to work? Yes, Sahar, go ahead. Alright, thank you very much much for that, Sahar. Who else would like to answer and tell me what do you wear to work? Okay, so for Sahar, I said that she wears something a little formal, okay, when she's going to the school. Who else would like to say what do you wear to work? Raise your hand. Okay, Yan Feng, why don't you try? Yan Feng? All right, thank you very much for that, Yan Feng. What about you, Mary? What do you wear to work? Yes, I usually wear the formal clothes, so such as a suit, then I go to work. Okay, so you have a very a job where you have to wear very, very formal clothes, so you wear a suit. Okay, welcome to my class, Yuhua and Hong Yan. Yu Hua, what do you wear to work? All right, also a very formal job like Mary. What about you, Hong Yan? What do you wear to work? Okay, thank you very much for that, Hong Yan. Okay, a very, a job where you are allowed to wear casual wear. All right, that's always a good job because that sort of 
clothing is very comfortable. Okay, so let's look at our next slide. Do you know how to give compliments? Okay, so for example, wow, you look amazing in red. Really? I just bought it. That suit looks great on you. Thanks. I usually wear blues and black. Now, put the sentences into groups. Groups of compliments as well as a group of replies to compliments. So let's look at the group of compliments. From these four sentences, which are compliments? Raise your hand. Yes, Sahaj. Alright, well done. That's correct. Wow, you look amazing in red is a compliment. Which other sentence here is a compliment? Class? Raise your hand if you think you know which is a compliment. Yes, Yan Feng, go ahead. Okay, correct. That suit looks great on you. Okay, what about replies to compliments? Yes, Yuhua, go ahead. All right, well done. Great job. Now, now using these as examples, okay? Can you add more sentences to the groups? Raise your hand if you can add more sentences to the groups and begin by telling me whether it is a compliment or whether it is a reply to a compliment. Raise your hand when you're ready with an answer. Yes, Mary, go ahead. And say, wow, you look smart today. All right, that a compliment. Wow, you look smart today. Alright, Yuko, I noticed that you had your hand up. What would you like to add, Yuko? Okay, Yuko, the same way you raised your hand. Oh, great, your microphone is on. Alright, so you are so beautiful. That is a compliment. Yes, Sahar, go ahead. Alright, well done, you can. Alright, you can say thanks for your compliments. Okay, you are showing gratitude. You are showing that you are thankful for someone saying something nice about you. Yes, Yuhua, go ahead. Alright, thank you very much for that, Yuhua. Just be a little careful with your prepositions. Look at your notepad. You said you look pretty on that dress. Okay? The correct preposition is in. You look pretty in that dress. Alright? But well done and thank you very much, Yuhua. Okay? Hong Yan, go ahead. Alright, well done. That was a fantastic answer, okay? And I'm sure the class would agree with, with me. Great job. Thank you very much. Yes, Sahar, go ahead. Alright, yes, you can say the color really suits you. But rather say thank you for your kindness. Okay, so not just thank you for your kind, but thank you for your kindness. Alright, but great job. Thank you very much for that, Sahaj. Are there any other sentences you'd like to add, class? Okay, everybody seems happy, so let's look at our next slide. Oh, wait, Yuhua, yes? Yuhua, go ahead. Alright, you are genius. Okay, yes, you can say that as a compliment. Alright, I think anybody would really love that compliment. Okay, thank you very much for that, Yuhua. Alright, now let's move on to our next slide. Tell these people what you think about the way they look. Say something positive. Okay, so we're going to be giving these people compliments. Alright, 
So, for example, you can say, You look amazing today. I love your shoes. Alright, you can also say about this man, Is that new? It's definitely your color. Alright, so looking at these two pictures, Tell these people what you think about the way they look and say something positive. Alright, so remember we are looking for compliments. Raise your hand when you're ready with your answer. Yes, Sahar, go ahead. Alright, well done, Sahar. Uh, really trying to use the phrases that you came up with in the last slide and you adjusted them to this slide. Great job, okay? Very impressive. Okay, who else would like to give compliments to these people? Raise your hand. Yes, Yuko, go ahead. Your sunglass is very nice. Okay, well done. Your sundress is very nice. What about you, Hongyan? What would you like to add? Okay, thank you very much for that. Yuhua? Yes? Sahar, go ahead. Yes, you can definitely say that as well. Alright, great job. Who else would like to add something? Mary, what would you say to this woman or this man? How would you say something positive? Uh, I think this woman looks very fashion and uh, it's a very beautiful hairstyle and very beautiful mini skirt. And uh, with this uh, this gentleman, I think he looks very sporty, so with uh, very strong muscles and very cool style. Yeah, that's it. Thank you. All right, bringing some really great adjectives into your answer. Well done. Mary, just be a little careful. The woman looks very fashionable, okay? Right, you converted all your other um, adjectives perfectly, but remember, it's not fashion, but fashionable. So she looks very fashionable. All right, but great job, Mary. Thank you very much for such a wonderful answer. Okay, the other students giving you um, a round of applause. Okay, you sound like you are probably. Um, a stylist or maybe even a magazine critic, okay? So we really did enjoy your answer. Thank you very much. All right, who else would like to maybe say one or two more things before we move on? All right, everybody seems pretty happy. Um, class, I'd like to sincerely apologize for any background noise that you may hear, okay? Like I said earlier, English Town is full of loud teachers today. So please know that this is out of my control and I hope that you will not rate me down for the background noise as this is not something I can change. Okay? Alright, great. So far, so good. I'm sure everybody's happy. I'm really enjoying this class with you all. Let's look at this slide. Answer the questions about office clothes, all right? So we've been very specific office clothes in your country. So what I'm going to do is ask you a question. So for example, can women wear pants? And you will answer either yes they can or no they can't. All right, so I'll ask you the question and you must give me either one of these answers. Right, let's begin. Can women wear pants? in your country? Raise your hand when you're ready to answer. And begin by telling me the country you are from so that everybody knows which country you're talking about before you give your answer. Yes, Sahar, go ahead. Alright, thank you very much for that. Who else would like to tell me? Can women wear pants in your country? Raise your hand. Yes, you Hua, go ahead. All right, well done. Who else would like to tell us whether the woman can wear pants in your country? And don't forget to mention the country you are from before you answer. Yes, Hong Yan, go ahead. And which country are you from, Hong Yan? 
Once again, Hong Yan, switch your microphone on and tell the class and I the country you are from. Okay, the the reason why I'm saying tell us the country you are from because it's very interesting for me and the other students to just really know where you're from. Okay, it's nice to learn about your countries. Okay, Hong Yan says that she's from China. Okay, great. Let's look at our next question. Can office workers wear jeans? Raise your hand. Can office workers wear jeans? Yes, you could. Go ahead. Yes, they can in Japan. All right, thank you very much for that, Yuko. Who else would like to tell us? Yes, Sahar, go ahead. All right, I do actually know what that is. Okay, sometimes you wear it underneath. Okay, yes, Yuhua, go ahead. All right, thank you very much for that, Yuhua. So maybe it's um, something to do with the job that you're doing that allows you the privilege of wearing jeans. Okay, right, let's look at our next question. Can men wear colorful shirts? Yan Feng, why don't you answer this? Yan Feng Pan, can men wear colorful shirts? All right, so men can wear colorful shirts when they go to work. All right, Mary, I noticed that you had your hand up. Go ahead. Yes, thank you. Uh, I think. Uh, I'm from China also, and um, the men can wear the not colorful shirt, but the one color, so simple color shirt, like light yellow or light blue, because if you have so many colors on your shirt, that it seems like unprofessional. So that's why. Yeah, thank you. All right, that's very true. Sometimes if you wear um, shirts that are too colorful, it does seem a bit um, unprofessional and also people will not take you very seriously. Okay, once again, a great answer, Mary. Thank you very much. Yes, Sahar, go ahead. All right, okay, so the dark colors, because a lot of people tend to wear darker colors like um, black and gray or a very dark blue. Okay, sometimes people wear white because it really does has come across as being very professional, okay, it's a very clean, sleek sort of look, all right, so well done to everyone, okay, let's look at the, okay, yes, Hong Yan, go ahead, yes, sorry, I could not hear the very last word, you said that they can wear colorful shirts, where, Hong Yan, Hong Yan, can you please switch your microphone on and just can you repeat the last word okay you said men can wear colorful shirts where I could not hear the last word all right while Hong Yan is typing out let's look at the next one can women wear makeup in your country all right to work all right remember we're being very specific here office so can women wear makeup? Raise your hand when you're ready with your answer. Yes, Sahar, go ahead. All right, it's very much the same here in South Africa. Okay, thank you very much, Sahar. Mary, go ahead. Um, I think China, yes, women can wear the uh, makeup, but not too much because if you wear too much, um, other people will think that you are... Uh, so it's not good. Just, yeah. All right. Thank you very much for that, Mary. Who else would like to tell the class and I, can women wear makeup in your country? Yes, Yuhua, go ahead. All right. Thank you very much for that. What about in your country, Yuko? Can women wear makeup? Yuko, don't forget to switch your microphone on and share with the rest of the class where the women can wear makeup in your country. Yes, they can. All right. Thank you very much for your answer. Now, we've arrived at our final task. It's coffee break time and you're chatting with your co-workers. Student A compliments student B on what they are wearing. Student B thanks student A and gives them a compliment in return. So, for example, student A 
Blue is definitely your color. You look great. Student B, do you think so? Thanks. Your suit is amazing. Was it expensive? Alright, so who would like to be student A? Who wants to compliment student B on what they are wearing? Alright. Um, Sahar, can you please do the part of student A? And Mary, can you please do the part of student B? Go ahead. Yeah, thank you very much. And I also like your new hairstyle. That looks very beautiful and very professional. Yeah, and uh, could you t could you tell me where did you buy bought your your suit? I really want to buy also this one. Uh, it's like uh, two uh, hundred euro. Uh, yeah, euro. Yeah, that's expensive. <laughs> Probably next time we can go shopping together. Okay, I have to go now. See you then. Bye. All right. Thank you very much for that. Sahar and Mary, okay, very interesting, um, a very interesting topic. Okay, uh, Hong Yan, you said that, I'm oh, sorry, Yuko, you said that you have to leave. Okay, I'd like to thank you very much for joining our lesson, Yuko. Don't forget to please fill in the conversation class survey for me after the lesson, and I hope to see you again very, very soon. Okay, so now who else would like to do the final task? Who would like to be student? A. Raise your hand if you'd like to be student A. All right. In the meantime, Mary, you said where did you bought your suit? Okay. You said it the right way. All right. When you first said it, and then you corrected yourself and you said the wrong thing. Okay. So I know that you do know the right answer. So just remember, it is where did you buy your suit from? Okay. But great job, ladies. Would anyone else like to do the final task? Please raise your hand. All right, everybody's feeling a little shy, maybe even a little tired. Okay, but we have su we had such a fantastic class together that I'm so happy with the progress that we have made in this lesson. So well done to you all. Unfortunately, Yuko has left. Okay, but also doing a great job on her end. Okay. Before I go, thinking back on today's lesson, do you have any questions for me? Was there anything that you did not understand and would like me to explain again maybe? Raise your hand. Alright, no questions. If you have any questions relating to the English language and if you would like me to help you, please can you send me an email, pre.mudley at etteachers.com or you can find me on Skype. My username is provide. Um, this is a free service, okay? So if you just need my advice, you can contact me, and this is not something you are charged for, okay? After class, please can you fill in the survey for me? This is incredibly important to me. It really does need to be filled in. So if you have a few seconds after the lesson, please can you fill in the survey to rate my teaching and me, okay? So only me and my teaching. The section on teaching quality and overall impression of the lesson this has to do with me and my teaching only okay so once again ladies teacher quality and overall impression of the lesson has to do with me and my teaching only I try very hard to be an excellent teacher here at English Town and it's important to me that you do fill in the survey for me alright so for example if you thought I was an excellent teacher Excellent here at teacher quality and excellent down here at overall impression of the lesson. Okay? Alright, thank you so much for joining my lesson. I really did enjoy it. And I'm so grateful to all of you for really trying and for answering all of my questions successfully. And I really hope to join you all again in another class, hopefully very, very soon. From myself and English First, have a fantastic Monday. Goodbye.